Hello everyone, this is Pingu and today I will show you how to automate celestial crystals with maximum stats. Let's start with the very basics. A celestial crystal has three stats, size, beauty and cutting. The size is gained when we leave the crystal in liquid starlight. It will try to consume the starlight and when it does, it grows in size. The cutting is gained by using grindstone. And the purity is gained when the crystal splits. Once the crystal reach the maximum size, there is 1 in 6 chance that it will split in 2. And an additional crystal will have from 0 to 9 more percent purity. Also, two other stats are rolled randomly. Once you get the crystal with maximum purity, you can use it further. Each time it will give you two crystals with maximum purity. When you drop a celestial crystal in liquid starlight, it will emit particles. And that means that everything is okay. When you drop an additional crystal, or place a block above, it will stop processing. Unfortunately, the author of the mod has disabled any possibility for machines to interact with the grinder. Also, you cannot extract any information about the crystal in the grinder. So that means that we have to do this step manually. With all this information, let's move to the concept of the farm. The farm will be divided in four steps. Splitting, growing in size, grinding, and growing in size again. Yes, you can shorten it to three steps, but I recommend you to use four step farm. And there are two reasons why. The first one, the crystal may have not enough size, so you can eventually break it when using in grindstone. The second one, I assume that you won't grind the crystals that often. So when you grind the crystals in batch, the last step will go faster. So in general, the four step farm should work faster. And that's how the whole farm looks like. It's not that difficult. We have a liquid starlight production here. Currently I'm using mechanical user to put Aquamarine into light well. It has two chambers, a few chests, and a grindstone. The first chamber splits crystal in two. The importer picks up X minus one crystal. The splitted crystal goes to the buffer, which goes to the second chamber, where it grows in size. The exporter drops one minus X crystals and the entity redo reads its current size. Once it reaches the maximum size, the, the equality condition switches to true and the importer picks up the crystal, which goes to the buffer. You have to manually take these crystals and manually grind them and then you put it to another buffer which has higher priority. So the second chamber first drops the grinded crystals and then it drops the splitted crystals. With the crystals with maximum stats goes to the last chest. Before moving to the step-by-step -step tutorial, we need to prepare. First of all, make sure you have a steady source of liquid starlight. Second, you will have to manually get celestial crystal with maximum purity. Third, 
we will need a few integrated dynamics items. Let's start with the first chamber. We put down a few cables, entity reader, importer, and a display panel. And don't forget about the variables. So right now I'm going to show you the wrong way. We can use entity variable and then convert it to the item variable. The item variable can show you the current amount of items in a single stack. If we drop a single piece of item, it will show you one. A few more, it will show you five. The whole stack, it will show you the whole stack. But if we drop another whole stack of the, of the same item, it won't be detected. And as we know, the celestial crystals are not stackable. So instead, we are going to use the list and then we simply get the length of the list. One crystal, two crystals. After that, we tell the importer to only pick up X minus one amount of crystals. Instead of using minus one, you can use a simple decrement. It's the same. And if we put down an item interface and a chest, we drop the first crystal and the second crystal goes to the buffer. Awesome. At this moment, you can put a fluid placer and leave a celestial crystal. Oops a celestial crystal with maximum purity. With the second chamber we do almost the same. Entity reader, exporter, importer. And we want to tell the exporter to drop one minus x amount of crystals. So we take a list, then we get the length of it, Then we get a variable integer with one and tell the programmer to do one minus X amount of crystals. And if we put down an item interface, it will drop only one and no more crystals. You can also change the velocity so it put down the crystals right in the center right now i'm going to show you how to extract nbt data you can watch my previous video to get more information about it first of all put down a display panel and get a variable entity. Then we want to get an item variable. And then we want to extract NBT out of it. Please notice NBT of an item, not entity. Unfortunately, 
we got tags that are included in other tags. So first of all, we need to extract them and only then we can get the crystal properties. Please notice that integrated dynamics is sensitive to the case. So it means that we need all small letters in a name astrosocery and we need a large letter P in crystal properties. After that we can extract NBT tag. Boom, we got the crystal properties. So first of all, we want to extract the integer size and then we want to make equality condition. So we tell the importer to only pick up items if the current size is equal to 900. You can put down an integer of a current size in a display panel and it will show you the current size. So you can observe at what stage the crystal is. You can also do the same with the first chamber to see if the crystal is growing in size or trying to split. After that, we put down an item interface. Please notice that we have to change the interface channel and an importer channel. Because if we don't, the crystal will go in loop with the first buffer. And we want to only pick up the crystal with maximum size into another buffer. So as we can see, the, the current size is 187 and it just picked up the crystal with size 900. At this moment, you can put down a fluid placer and drop the crystals. You just did the hardest part of this farm. Congratulations! After that, you put down a grinder, another chest with an item interface. Put a higher priority in it, so the second chamber will first take the grinded crystals and only the splitted crystals. After that, put down the last chest and put an item filter in it to only pick up the crystals with maximum properties. Make sure the match NBT is on. And that's it. Of course, the farm isn't that fast. It takes about from 15 to 30 minutes to produce one ungrinded crystal. You can make more chambers to split more crystals, to grow inside more crystals and grind them more. 
but I don't even know why do you need that much amount of crystals with maximum properties. I hope this tutorial was useful for you and you learned something new today. I wish everyone good luck. Bye bye.